Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own basic WAMP server, which stands for Windows, Apache, PHP, and MySQL. So basically, what a WAMP server is, is it's for Windows, obviously, and it has all the stuff you really need to set up a server. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that this is going to be a super advanced and complicated server. It's just to say you have a server. But you will be able to access it from anywhere as long as your server is up. So it's really powerful and it's free too, so might as well just try it out. So the first website you want to go to is wampserver.com slash en, because originally I think it's French. So just go ahead and go to that website. It'll be down in the description. And then go ahead and go to the download. And then just click on this one. And then just get the first one. And then just download it, go through the installer process. Really simple. Just next, I agree. Okay. Just stuff like that. So after you've done that, then you just want to go ahead and go. And I set up an option to make a desktop shortcut. You don't have to, but I did. So just go ahead and double click on it. And just tell it, give it permission to run. Also on the installer, it might have said something about allowing it to run on your network. You just want it to run on your private network. That's all you need. So now you can see that our server is offline. So you want to left click on it and put online. Alright, so let's check on it now. Alright, now it's online. So now, I'm going to open back up our internet and type localhost. And if you get this, you know you did everything right. So we can go ahead and minimize that for now. And then just go, go ahead, and let me show you a neat trick. If you left click on it, and then you can just click on localhost, and that'll take you straight to the, straight to your actual main web page. Okay, so now what we want to do is instead of having that boring WAMP uh, default web page, we want to actually have something in the web page. So what you want to do is left click on this and go to www directory. And you don't have to worry about the test mysql.php right now. All you need is the index.php. And so, as you can see, this is in computer OS WAMP www, which is default install directory. So, what you want to do is left click on the index.php and edit with a text editor. I'll use Notepad. And it has all this stuff here that probably makes no sense to you, nor does it to me. So, all you want to do is just select it all and just delete it. Alright, so now we have a very blank web page. If we were to save this right now, it'd be completely black. So what we want to do is just put in a little bit of HTML, even though it says www.index.php, still accepts HTML. So if you don't know HTML, then just follow this. This isn't going to be an HTML tutorial, but it will get you the very beginnings of a website. If you do know HTML, you're probably way ahead of me already. So this is where you put in all your custom HTML code and stuff. So you just want to have your HTML, then your head, then see, and I keep doing this. Instead of HTML, you want head again. So you want your HTML opening, your HTML closing, your your head opening, your head closing. Now we want our body opening. and then our body closing. Now instead of our body, we're just going to do a simple paragraph, which is P, and then you can put whatever you want. Hello YouTube. And then just close it. And now if we go ahead and save it, and then you can minimize this for now. And then go ahead and open up your WAMP server and restart all services okay so now it's off now it's restarting and now it's up so if we go ahead and open this up and we refresh the page that says hello YouTube so now you have a very basic web server and you will be able to access it from wherever you want if you're not being if you're not through a router 
if you're through a router, you have to do this thing called port forward. So to port forward, I'm not going to give you a tutorial because there's tons and tons of different routers out there. But there's this website called portforward.com. And if you go to it, you can see that it has a list of routers, port forwarding guides, and then you just choose your router brand and then your model and then just go through it all. So you can see it's pretty advanced. Two wire, three com, a link. Has just about all of them. So you you're bound to find your router in there. And then just put your model in there and then it'll give you directions how to port forward it. So then if you go back to the main page, you'll want after you've port forwarded it, you'll need to know your external IP. Okay, so here's mine, but it's grayed out, so nobody could connect to my server. So it's grayed out, and all you would have to do is just take this IP and then just open a new tab and then punch in that IP, and then you'll be right at your server from anywhere. And that's that's really it. If you wanted to, you could. Uh, there's this thing called DYN DNS, and with that, what you could do is you could change it from this really long stretch of numbers called an IP address and you could change it into words. Now it's it's completely free service. It's called DYN DNS and I'll include a link in the description and you can just do that and then you'll have a subdomain name and then a top domain behind it. So it'd be like whatever you your website name dot DYN DNS or something like that. And then after that you could give that to all your friends and then you could have a really simple server started. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like it if you did. Dislike it if you didn't. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.